for a few minutes, and then we're going to introduce the do uh, dance symposium uh, core committee um, members, and then we're going to introduce the dance group. And what what we need the dance groups to do is um, as soon as um, we have um, all Canada and uh, different uh, activities. Uh, we're going to have the head to table people. We're going to have them move uh, down to the to the front. We're going to have helpers uh, to do that for us, and they're going to have the front stage. They're going to have the front row area, so they will see the performances. Also, we're going to ask uh, each group. Um, you have programs like this, so you know what you're going to be on. And please come up on stage. Uh, there's some chairs. Um, there's some stairs here. We're gonna. In, I'm gonna introduce you, and then you come up to the stage, and then you just. Ex <laughs> Aboriginal symposium here in Esquimalt. It's the very first time that a, a symposium at this magnitude has been held in a reservation, and we would like to say, Julia, I'm so Welcome to each and every one of you to our to our First Nations um, Reserve. First of all, we're going to, I'm going to introduce to you uh, Joel Denny, and Joel Denny is going is uh, the coordinator. The symposium is his baby, yeah, and he has taken care of it with, with dignity and pride and honor. And that's why we're here this evening, and we're going to honor him by asking him to uh, start off the symposium with a song, one And uh, our, my sisters and I are going to be uh, joining him with this song, um, and Mr. L. Oakley is going to uh, do the opening um, prayer.
to uh, want to be going around the room and uh, if you want to smudge, please go up to him, please.
our guest speakers. And I'm going to, at this time, I'm going to ask uh, Chief Blair Francis of Eskasoni to say a few words. Thank you, Belfry. Members, Grand Chief, Heritage Agenda, representatives, council members, invited guests, community members, most of all, the dance and ocean participants. It is with great pride and honor that I welcome you to the largest Big Mom community in the world. Here in Eskisoni, Take pride in the fact that Mi'kmaq is our first language, a sacred gift that came to us through the Creator and safeguarded by our people throughout time. The sacred gift of dance is also the utmost importance to our survival. The idea of having this event at this, at this time is somewhat of a blessing to our community. As you may all be aware, the opening of this wonderful facility is a tribute to one of the most respected elders in our community. Lady Sarah Denny spent most of her life, and not all her life, fighting for the right to dance and be proud of who we are. Today, her, her legacy lives on through her children, grandchildren, and family. I am confident that the Denny family will continue their mother, mother's vision for generations to come. At this, at this time, I would just like to say to the Denny family of Kualani, a message to the federal government. I would like to personally thank them for the evident support of the dancing motion. And I hope that the Heritage Canada will continue to sustain such worthwhile cultural endeavors in the future. And by the way, best of luck to Minister Sheila Cobbs, who is unable to be with us here today in her bid to become the Prime Minister. To Grand Chief, I would like to say that we are honored to have you as one of our leaders in our struggle to retain our heritage and culture. To the residents of Eskisoni, let's show our visitors that we are truly the friendliest nation in the world to our guests. We invite you to relax, care with us, and enjoy yourself. But we are truly delighted to have you in our community. Last year, I would be remiss to invite you to mention the people who are responsible for bringing this event to our community and making it a reality. To all those who have long and tiring hours into getting everything ready, I say, well, I Once again, you are yourself and I sincerely hope you will benefit from this first prestigious event. Well, I Thank Ah, 
yang gubernur dan bukti apa yang terjadi wadah di dalam si cewek jago di memang dan memang itu menurut nama itu Chief Blair Council Elders Distinguished Guests Sarah's Children I am very pleased to be sharing tonight the opening of our sister Sarah's house, I guess you can call it now, Cultural Center. What Sarah and my godfather Noel did at the early ages, they brought back our culture. They, they weren't afraid to go and dance where people were making fun of us. But they went all over, I see them in Halifax, different, different renovations, Sydney, other parts of Canada where they traveled, teaching our people and others what Big Mac culture was. First time I seen Sarah do a big project with the CDC. Even today, you can see it. On certain time of, of time, it will have re replays of her, of her role. That was the first film I think it was made by the Micmacs. True Micmac people, not from just here, but all over. That made, made us proud. And this brought back the cause. Like even today, our, ch our children, I think quite a few here. With that many dial, I am very glad to see you here. And to share, share and learn the culture of our people. And I see a lot of distinguished guests, like Kathy Martin and other people who are trying to inform our people, the other people of our, of our race. Kathy has her own film sections. She done one with the Con River a few years back when they were, they canoe from Con River to the Chapel Island. And this, even today a lot of people don't believe that they did it, but I knew I was at the shore when it came, came across. I am very pleased the opening of Sarah's Culture Center, and it's, your reserves should be proud of it. And thank Blair for all the support and the council. They put in, make this lovely building what it is today. Well, I know.
here we have uh, out front, but we'll get at that, we'll get at that later. So um, I will be sharing some aspects of the programs that we have right now. Uh, and I also want to, uh, I think, instill the idea and bring the idea that uh, anything is possible. Uh, we look at this event today, it's incredible. It's incredible the work that uh, the hosts uh, have done, uh, other uh, dance professionals uh, in the dance national dance community across Canada. It's just, a, it's just an amazing, amazing thing. I'm very humbled uh, to, be, uh, to be just witnessing uh, this at this time. It's, it's very inspiring. So I thank you for coming, and thank you for showing and following your commitment to our culture, uh, and to this, uh, this specific way of, of expressing our culture through, uh, through dance and song. Um, I myself, I, I feel very, uh, again, very honored to be here this, up on the stage here, because I know that for us as, uh, as, as performers and having the, the, uh, the chance to perform, that this is considered a sacred space. And so I, um, I acknowledge that, and I acknowledge uh, the work that's going to be happening here, uh, and the work that the groups are going to be sharing from right across the country. It's a fantastic opportunity to see, share, and I think that's where we begin to strengthen our nations and to strengthen our connection to one another. So uh, I say, have a fantastic uh, few days, please. I'm very open, very approachable. Come and talk to me. And uh, that's my, my role right now is to advocate and pass on the information that you may need to, uh, to take your work and to take your art further. Thank you. Go on.
which uh, uh, funded the symposium, which we're very pleased to fund. And we also have the uh, honor of working together again for a, a grant from Canadian Heritage for specialized equipment, which will be used for this beautiful new center. So please join us tomorrow. The session that we're doing starts at 9, and we'd be happy to discuss the Department of Canadian Heritage's programs uh, with you at that time. Merci. I'd like to thank you for your support and your kind uh, um, words and your donations because uh, earlier on today when the lights went on, I burst out crying. <laughs> so it's really, really an honor and really a privilege for all of us to have this equipment and we're very, very thankful for it. Um, I'm going to ask um, my brother Joe Denny, our only brother, uh, he has to put up with a lot of us, like uh, nine sisters on his back all the time, and uh, we love him to death. Joel Denny, Eskisoni Tourism. I would just like to say again, I can say that it's an honor for us, and I think I'm speaking for the community. I, I also would like to thank Chief Blair Francis for his gracious support. He was there all the time, two weeks there, enough, and using that shovel and, and that tractor. I'm not sure he wanted to get away. You know, and his tremendous support and his drive for us, and this is actually this is what we have today. I like to support, I would like to say that, you know, not only that we as a of the Lima dancers, we have a lot of help. We're very thankful, like people like Kissy, you know, Nancy, his sister, Maxine. So everybody out there, Andre, Nancy. I especially like to thank Murder. Thank you from bottom of my heart. You can want to thank. I have to talk to you every day, a lot of questions, a lot of mistakes, but she helped me along. I'd like to thank the support of uh, Harry Canada also, and, and the Canada Council, Terry Longo, Terry, your, your partner, so supportive of our, you know, of our event. Thank you for the honor. I'd like to thank the dancers because Today, we have a showcase for and it's for our children. It's not about us, it's for our children. This is what the whole drive is for. We have the whole Canada looking at this today. It's us, it's our children. So I like to, from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to thank all the people involved, the parents. They are the ones that a lot of shows, whatever support that they gave me, the money they had, they are the ones. A lot of them. A lot of them. Everybody is here. I feel sorry for my sister and my brother, my younger brothers and sisters, 
whose hair is turning white, I don't know. Well, anyway, that's my secret. <laughs> I, too, am very, very honored, and I'm very, it's very, uh, a big privilege, and it's very, um, what can I say, it's very, um, it's so hard to express the feeling that I had, but I am, I'm, I can't believe, you know, that, my, aunt, my mother was honored in such a great way. She was a great woman. But, uh, and you know, it's meaningful when you recognize from other areas, from other sources, you know, that somebody gives you an honorary degree. It's a great recognition. But to be recognized for your achievements by your own people, I think that is more meaningful. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I really uh, appreciate everybody coming to this grand opening in, uh, in the grand opening of this beautiful center. And thank you Blair and the Chief and Council, and the funding agency Heritage Canada, thank you very much. It's very beautiful. Everything's coming together. Secrets, huh? Mm. Uh, we'll have a video on that coming up. Um, I'd like to do. I'd like to introduce to you our um, one of our most respected elders of our community. Uh, we have a lot of them, and this person here has worked so hard in uh, in in talking and teaching uh, culture and language to our uh, children and to, uh, to our uh, educators. I'd like to introduce to you, Mergina Marshall. I really love the place. I am not an administrator or a worker, I'm just a loafer. <laughs> but I'm, I am very appreciative of the efforts made by this committee. In getting this thing off the ground and being it today, it's a great accomplishment. And they certainly need uh, a lot of praise. A lot of uh, thank you for thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to, to speak or to say something. At such a wonderful occasion for all of us. I am indeed an honor, grateful to the organizers. Those who prepared and built this magnificent showcase of a building. Those who prepared the food and the staff who extended their hands in welcome to all who came in. I was here briefly this afternoon to listen to some of the, uh, the going on, and I was very impressed at the topics that the gang was talking about. I think it was the coming of the evening. But I, I didn't want to stay uh, too long, just to know what's your own. The topic of interest here in Miskasoni today and for the next few days is dance. In my native language, it's called Amakke Wapan. It is an activity best described as the poetry, poetry of motion. One can only experience a dance if they set their body and feet to the rhythm of the beat. Which I am most famous for is not a dance. That's only I didn't do anything. But anyway, I tapped. But I, I certainly enjoy the beauty of our traditional dances when I see them happening. When I was a kid in the early 50s, we had a teacher of dance on Chapel Island. During the day, we were given lessons by the pro. His name was Andrew Gould, and he was from Waikama. It made sure we get the right steps to the best he was playing, to the beat that he was playing to. He was the chanter, the drummer, the babysitter, the dance instructor, and policeman. All rolled in one. 
We certainly, he was majestic in his responsibilities and we certainly took him seriously and listened with intensity. Mr. Gould talked very eloquently about the dances and their purposes. One of the memorable, memorable things that Andrew left upon my mind was the statement he made on, 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 a, on our traditional dance, the Gojua. He instructed us that for the rest of our lives, if and when we hear a chant to the Gojua, you get up and you dance. And in doing so, you are honoring your ancestors, your ancestry, and your pride in both. So every time I hear a dance, I have to dance. I don't care where I am. And that particular chant is so inviting, you can't help it. He also taught us that you never run into a circle. If you hear a chant, you start dancing then. You may be 10 feet away from the circle or 100 feet away from the circle. Dance, dance towards the circle. You never run in. So the dance in, in Chapel Island in the evenings around this time was just us. You see the adults all coming from every direction, dancing towards the circle. Everybody's dancing, they're not running, they're not walking, they're dancing towards the circle. And then they join in. Children weren't permitted to dance in the evening, but I said, the people dance vigorously. And so I guess to save us from uh, injury, we sort of just watch. But I get up and I dance anywhere for my nationhood of Mi'kmaq. Because in dancing, I am dancing for joy, gratitude, pride, and for the next generation. So when you hear a dance, about the gojo, I you somehow get up and dance. That's the best way to honor oneself. One of the dance has been part of my life forever. And uh, when I couldn't let go of my son, he died a few, uh, many years ago, I had to envision him in a scenario where he is most happy. And he was a, he was a skater. He had a lot of training in figure skating and I, when I look out my window at the water, I see him uh, do, practicing the moves he made in, in figure skating and he was so graceful. So when I wrote about him in my last paragraph, I envisioned him as the Moonlight Dancer. Tommy is the Moonlight Dancer as he strides on the glistening waters of the door. He now, with all of the angels, Follows, follows the Lord of the dance forever. There are stages anywhere that the Creator leads them. And the dancing in northern lights, which often come out at night, are their testaments. You can't see them, but you know they're dancing because the northern lights are reflecting their, their, their strides. They are the reflection of the gleeful steps of the angels. And that gives me a lot of consolation when I, when I think about that. A lot. Uh, in our Mi'kmaq culture, the best thing you can do for anyone is for, for you to dance for them and feed them. You know, sometimes when you give something to your, to, your, to your friend or to your mother or to your aunt, you give them bingo money, your aunt will jump up and she says, so I'm not young to I can dance for you, I'm so happy. And, and these were some ways of express, expressing gratitude, is getting up and dancing. Even if it's just a few steps. But it, it's a gesture of gratitude. Uh, and therefore the dance becomes uh, the, the Thanksgiving dance. And during Bessiewadi, the army of the elders, it's a ceremony, we always dance for the honorees. That's one of the criteria. You have to dance first and then eat later. The only time you make body contact while dancing is during a wedding feast. But it is the last dance, not not uh, in time. It was it's the last dance announced. And you can now hold hands with your with your date. It was it's not permitted too much. Although you can use your blanket to dance with, but the holding hands is kind of no no. <laughs> and so you move around in circles, and it's just like the friendship dance of today, except there's only two of you trying to hold on to each other. 
If you have a plank, you get to go dance under the blanket. And that's more fun. <laughs> uh, but there's many types of dances. We, we have to first investigate. These are just the things that I remember. And the name of that dance, the wedding dance, is Ipa Samaru, which means we're, we're fixing the bride's head comfortably on the big old. In fact, it's only one word. Too much time. Uh, start cracking jokes, I've become sick. <laughs> Therefore, I will sit back down and tap. Be merry and dance. Apodalo. Thank you very much. Thank 
using my own uh, pronunciation, my Lima language to say all these names. Well, honey, I was close. <laughs> April Duxtater, Tamara Podemski, Sarah Podemski, Mana. And we saw the rehearsal earlier on to Sydney. Oh, they're in Sydney, aren't they? Okay, her bunch is in Sydney, and uh, they'll be here though, and don't miss them. Thank you. Penny Gucci, I think Penny Gucci was up uh, just a second ago, but we're going to uh, ask her to come up again and have a little wave. Oh, Mwemo, she's not here, sorry about that. Red Thunder, Next Generation, Aroha Pro Child, Nidan Pro Child, Tim Oranga Pro Child, Maeya or Maya Pro Child, Hein Pro Child, Nigatai uh, Pro Child, Trevor Pelly. Play. Play. I, mean, I said it today, Letier. Travis Letier, Farron Discharge, Jerry Jale. Sorry. Have a little wave, everybody. Akira Koto, Kukurawa Oha Ho. Originally of Māori descent from New Zealand, I married into the Crow Child family 23 years ago. I am now a member of the Sutina Indian Nation. Come with my children here. And geez, I couldn't come all this way and not sing a little Māori song for you, so we go to the studio. Beautiful group. Okay, I need glasses now. The words are getting smaller and smaller. Buffalo Boy Productions. Johnny Spidel, Quinton Tutusis, I hope I said it right, and Jason Daniel. I'd like to say good evening to each and every one of you. I wanted to uh, relay a good message to each and every one of you. I'm really enjoying your territory here. It's a beautiful place. I used to think the Black Hills in South Dakota was uh, God's country. I'm now changing my mind. Maybe over here, over here looks pretty good. So. I'd like to uh, share a song here for each and every one of you. The uh, mother uh, compadres, my Indian traveling partners, they're still in Saskatchewan. Uh, Air Canada banned them from traveling. They thought they were Al Qaeda members. <laughs> so wow, uh, I'm here by myself right now. Hopefully tomorrow they're gonna try to come out on a boat. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song here to each and every one of you, a song that uh, comes from my area, a song to honor the people of the territory in which you visit. So this is a song for all of you uh, community members and elders. I thought this is important to share, is, uh, to honor you with all the good work and all the good hospitality here. So thank you. <laughs> yeah!
शाखा 